Yeah, then I want to welcome you here to another program in Family Channel. My name is Rune Fardal and I sit here with Amy and uh, Kevin. And uh, the, this is about the case uh, Tyler back to Amy. And um, today you have been participating in the court, which is the uh, yellow building behind us. And today it was your lawyer and your lawyer and the lawyer for childcare who represented the case. Yes. Uh, their side of the case. Yes. They said, yeah, mm. their side of the case, important point, mm. <laughs> their side of the case. <laughs> yeah. And you give your explanation. Yeah, I, was, I had my time today and so did Kevin. Yeah. Um, that was about almost what happened today. Yeah. Because you have another day tomorrow. Exactly. With, uh, with witnesses. With witnesses yes. from childcare and psychologists. And yes, different things exactly. Like that. Okay. H how do you feel the day went today? Um, I feel it's kind of prejudged. We have had this judge in a previous uh, court hearing. Mm. Uh, we It didn't go in our favor. And just by the tone of them and the impression you leave with the heavy feeling yeah. you don't feel like you're actually being heard or what is being heard isn't what's really relevant no. mm. um, it's already been decided yeah. beforehand yeah that we they're feel. kind of just picking through the leaves to find out what they can use to yeah. use mm. against us um, so because, nothing new really <laughs> because when uh, when we talked earlier you you said uh, the main issue now isn't you is not it's fit not for mother. It's not my caregiving skills. No. Um, they did bring up a point just to make sure because they had just gone out with the fact that they yeah. have no issues with my caregiving skills. Yeah. But to reassure that they win, uh, yeah. they have not come up with that. It might still be difficult for me with uh, just normal caregiving skills because now he might need special caregiving skills yes, uh, from someone to take care of him uh, because he's been in a foster home environment. Oh. So, so because of what the child care system has exactly. done to him, yes. you suddenly need special training, extra training. special parenting skills. Yeah. Yes, which I'm happy to do. <laughs> like, just teach yeah, me. Just, it's fine. Just give it to her then. Yeah. give it to her. <laughs> we can so, train but, um, with supervision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but now it's that it's. Um, they they feel it's a risk that I would bring him out of the country. Yeah. Uh, I've offered everything. I've offered up my passport. I could go to the police yeah. station every day. I, yeah. There's nothing that I wouldn't do to reassure them that I can yeah. stay here. Yeah. Uh, I just want a part of to be a part of my child's life. Yeah. Um, but the main issue of them is that he is so connected to the foster family now that there's no going back. Now, now they bring opinion. up the attachment. Exactly, mm. the yeah. attachment. So because they have kept him so long, four yes. years, yeah. uh, he's so attached to the foster parents that he can't mm. go back to mother and father. Exactly. But <laughs> they do this on purpose, you know, they yeah. know how what to do and yeah. what, what how to do this so that it yeah. comes it was in all, their favor. I think it was all pre-planned. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's obvious. It's like because a system that they have, they mm. just... Yeah. Hold because uh, so long. W when they took him first time, they mm. had, according to Norwegian law, three months to investigate, to yes. find out everything. Yeah. And in uh, rare special cases where they need some special information, they can go up to up. six months. Yes. yes. But how long did they wait until they start the case with you? Uh, oh, it, it was not. Uh, uh, it was regarding the. Uh, when it went by some years and then we uh, she asked about uh, uh, reopening the, the case reopening yeah. the case right, so we had to yeah. wait one year by the law yeah. which we did and then I um, you know I tried to get the case in for court again yeah. and that's when they had the three month limit yeah. uh, to answer or to send it into the court uh, three months passed nothing happened six yeah. months passed nothing happened yeah. I think it was almost a year at least ten months yeah. before mm. they actually got into the court yeah. So, System. so they broke the law. Oh, here, they did. Actually. They yeah. did. Yes. And and the Fylkesman, uh, he, he like, like the mayor it. of Forsen. Yeah, yeah. He reviewed mm. it, and he said that they had broken the law on uh, two or three uh, charges. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that uh, in 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 practice, you then uh, it uh, should be that. Uh, the child the child gets returned get back. Yeah. normally yes yeah. no, yeah. that is the law yeah, yeah but in this case they haven't done anything like that so yeah. we don't understand why why the law isn't obeyed even by the government yeah. mm. they made the law and yeah. they are not obeying it themselves yeah so 
the child care system and the people working there here in uh, in Lister uh, yeah. community, mm. uh, they can break the law. Yes. Mm. Uh, Without consequences with, with or no anything. No consequences. Mm. But as soon as you do anything in their eyes that's wrong, yeah, it gets consequences. Yes. Yeah. And it not yeah. only consequences, but it gets blown up out of proportion yeah. mm. uh, with things that easily could have been fixed and that yeah. I'm sure a lot of parents are open and willing to get help getting yeah. it fixed, yeah. but they put their foot in the ground and yeah. it... The, it's they, what they blame you for had something to do with nutrition exactly. and, and food for, for Tyler, mm. but they never give you a chance or give you information no. how to do it the right way or at least how to do it the way they think is the right yeah. way. Mm. They never care no. about that. No. no. But but they should have because that's what the law say. Yeah. They should put you in a position yeah. to take care of it. It's, uh, it's very strange that uh, the government is allowed to break the rules and do don't need to apply to the rules. But yeah. uh, but uh, but the biological parents, when they yeah. do something that seems wrong for the barnman, they just try to like find excuses to just they say like uh, psychologically unstable they use that yeah. against yeah. everybody yeah. Mm. Uh, just because we meet up and want to have our, uh, our uh, child back, child back yeah. uh, they say that we are psychologically unstable and <laughs> and that we should accept that they have him <laughs> that's psychologically unstable. They, they want you to accept that you have lost your child exactly. mm. based on false accu accusations. Exactly. Actually. Um, yes. The thing that really irritates me is that yeah. multiple times when we've been in court, yeah. both here and in Christian mm. uh we sit there in court and we get asked questions yeah. and they always ask the question is, what was it? Um, it's pretty much why on earth are you asking for custody back? You yeah. don't even yeah. have visitation rights. Yeah. And my answer today was, you know, this is my last shot. Yeah. I don't have any more chances. There's yeah. very little chance of it getting into Lagmansrat, yeah. let alone the highest court yeah. or, uh, you know, yeah, that's uh, a, uh, mm. the human rights court. So I have to ask all at one time. And not only because this is my last chance, but yeah. because they on purpose use such a long time to yeah. get it through the court yeah. that I would have to wait six years to ask for custody back if I first want to start, which is visitation. Yeah, uh, it's they do so slowly that it's like 18 before exactly. you blink. Yeah. So they kind of bring it on themselves and yeah. then they ignore the fact that they do it. They try to make you look almost like it's your fault. like it's, just try it's to like it's get ridiculous something on you make you say the wrong words exactly. so they can use something they exactly. don't really have arguments they they use it and they produce they it themselves because yeah, now I, attachment is four year oh cannot uh, mm. bring back uh, attachments is broken but they have broken the attachment mm. it's not exactly they're at fault for and, that and he still have attachment to you even if they block him because he, yeah. he lived with you for 19 months yeah. first mm. so, so he is connected to you smell yeah, and he asks everything. about us uh, yeah. also he, yeah. he's uh, mm. curious but they they can't say anything because they are afraid that the mother uh, the first mother she said that uh, she don't want to give him uh, hope <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so a chance to meet yeah. either one of us yeah. because I think she, she, she's afraid she's to lose ter him. She's yeah. terrified of losing him, yeah. and this is her only child that she and regards as stop mm -hmm. as her own, yeah. uh, because she is incapable of having children. Yeah. Now, from a mother's standpoint, that's very sad, and from a woman's standpoint, that's very sad. Yeah. But you don't kidnap someone else's child and hold them hostage no. with on your own um, wishes. Yeah. This is her wish to think of Tyler as only her own. Yeah. I mean, she should know what it's like to want a child. Yeah. Imagine trying losing one and yeah. then, yeah. you know. But she is actually paid by the barn, right? Yes. So have him. By the state to yes, have him. She yes, So she's employed to take care of him. Exactly. Mm. It's an artificial motherhood. Oh, of yes. course, of course. Yes. Yeah. And she is imagining that she actually is his mother. And I, I think yeah. it's, you know, if it was a normal uh, foster mother in normal, yeah. I mean, for example, that she was open because uh, many foster mothers are, are actually open like yeah. to, 
to have a connection to the real parent. Yeah. And well, that that give, should give, be um, a must, though. If you're yeah. open to being foster parent, you have to be able to work with parents. Yeah, you can't absolutely. think of okay, but in one year's time, this kid is going to be only mine because yeah. I want it to be that way. Yeah, yeah. That should never be the intention, or no, you should never no. become a foster parent because no, no, that's absolutely. not how it is. According to because the law, you have to work to get that she, child back. She's in the home putting if her wishes. Yeah before his wishes yeah. exactly. and that's the wrong thing he, to do he actually fulfill her wishes yeah, yeah. he did he's the mean to her happiness exactly yeah. exactly <laughs> and that's the wrong way around exactly. yeah. as far as exactly. i know exactly. yes. she should be the one that give him the mm. opportunity fulfillment. to see and if actually, that's okay he should yeah. stay with uh, his mother and you should yeah. be there uh, not some artificial mother who exactly. cannot get children for herself so she buy some exactly. and actually get money for it yeah, yeah. i i i, I um, reacted one thing you mentioned earlier uh, he was crying Mm. And they tied him up. No, uh, he w yes, he was crying at the night in the crib, uh, calling and for mommy and daddy. Uh, calling yeah. for us. Yeah. Oh. And uh, and he went up, and they put him down to bed, up yeah. and down. So he and wouldn't lie down. He so wouldn't he wouldn't lie down, and they yeah. had to put him in the crib. So they they didn't want to bother. Yeah, it stands. Yeah. They didn't want to bother, do it anymore. Yeah. So they tied him down with his uh, feet they and They tied his hands. him, locked him, him to the yes. crib. They yes. did. Yes. I, I wonder if a, if a biological mother had done that, mm. I think childcare would have been there that fast. Yeah, and and that, you know that, what? That they, should be. Be. they should be. They should be. be. Yeah. I mean, if at least so you case. help the parents realize that's not yeah. okay. Yeah. Mm. But I mean, for me, that's not acceptable. And the fact that the Bonvan is completely aware of what's going on and yeah. it's acceptable because, you know, it's the foster or uh, yeah. temporary foster parents who are yeah. doing it, yeah. that's not okay. No. Absolutely not. It's terrifying, really. Okay, we uh, there was a lot of people, ten yeah. people I think, coming yeah. from different part of Norway, actually uh, supporting you here today. Yeah, very uh, nice. And this, this place, I can tell for the foreign viewers, mm. it's like it's not the center of Norway. <laughs> <laughs> this is far out. It's in one of the sort southern of, uh, the southern cities. province. Yeah. We are we are very close to the most southern point in Norway. Exactly. Yeah, actually. Uh, and there are no, there are quite a bit distance to any city the, here the so the population yeah. is like yeah, 8000 or something yeah. 10 it's not not many I don't around think it's here that much yeah. Yeah. so um, but we we hope uh, now you have tomorrow yes. one more day with yeah. witnesses and then it take a week or a few weeks for decision from court and then we will know what uh, what that decision will be exactly there, that you can appeal or work mm. on with but Mm. Maybe this is a case that can actually end up in uh, human right court yeah, because it's to set the standard so. because yeah. it's so special yeah. in uh, in many mm. areas because you know it's a Bonavans case is always special in a kind of way but yeah. it, this is uh, special because of the circumstances that yeah. there was no violence uh, abuse of any kind yeah. uh, mm. neglect mm. Uh, because if 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 it was I would understand it, it was just two parents who have their first child yeah, and we were so young. experienced all the challenges that yeah. follow with it. They need some advice about yeah. feeding and this and that. But you never, you were never given a chance to that. They, they never informed you, it's better to do like this or this, give her that and that. Mm. They just come yeah, and take, take it after and, uh, and get delayed, the job. delayed, delayed, delayed oh, yeah. the process. A, so they get yeah. the Barnwan employees to have a job and the Barnwan yeah. lawyer have yeah. a job and yeah. everybody's happy with that, except Tyler and us. Yeah. They, they need the uh, children yeah, they to need stay and work themselves. Yeah. And Tyler is one of them. Yeah. Yes, unfortunately yeah. he is. Okay, uh, I'm sure we haven't heard the last of this story, um, Tyler back to Amy, as it's called. Uh, I know that um, um, people have been outside the uh, um, embassy in Vienna today, demonstrating against this, and uh, not so long ago there was a bigger demonstration. Down in, in Vienna. Uh, in Vienna. Mm. I, I actually took part in that myself. Oh. And I wish I could. <laughs> yeah. But we, um, we have to raise awareness of this kind of behavior from the Norwegian Barnevarne, child, uh, child uh, care system service. here. Because it has nothing to do, they, they break the law, we know they that do. already. Uh, they obviously don't have the uh, what shall we say? 
the uh, the knowledge of how to do this, the mm. the academic mm. knowledge. Mm. They, they are breaking all the rules in the book. They yeah, are. like the human rights, yeah. the the general Norwegian law, yeah. and uh, and like every rule you can possibly think yeah. it's <laughs> but broken it's, yeah. but it, it doesn't have any consequences for that exactly and that's a big issue but if you had broken one I promise you you probably yeah. you'll have you'll never hear the, the end of and, it and no. you, you don't can't even, get over that point no. yeah, you no. don't even need to as a biological parent yeah. you don't even need to break the law uh, regarding your uh, your care for your child it just they make stuff up yeah. and they just uh, and they're take so him easily first believed and ask yeah. after yeah, yeah by the Norwegian court. Everybody believe them when they say something. Exactly. There is no, where is the proof? There is this? no, there you is don't need proof. any proof. No, you don't need And that's it. a big yeah. uh, problem here, I and would say. And that's, is, uh, the cost system is so slow also, so yeah. that's, that's no, it's not strange that uh, it takes like five years and then they ask, yeah, but you don't even know him now. Yeah. So. Mm. yeah. Now is the argument, it's so long time you see him, mm. the attachment is broken, they say. Yeah. Uh, now he's attached to the foster mother. Mm. <laughs> what kind of argument is that? Everybody who knows about attachment knows that they ha- it, it they doesn't end and he can attach to more than one person. Yeah, and he exactly. can atta- reattach but it seems to they don't her want to risk or it, me. So. Yeah. 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 Okay, we will we'll not make this one so long. Uh, yeah. But we hope uh, everybody out there uh, support uh, Kevin and uh, Amy uh, so uh, Tyler can come back where he belongs in his biological family. And uh, this, is, this is a sort of trial case because this is showing all the bad things going exactly. wrong at the same time. Yeah, and, and the ar- arrogance of this system. Oh, of course, arrogance of course, of course absolutely. Yeah. I never yeah. felt. Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, it's very arrogant. And I, I we, when you come in, you do, you just feel like it's a, you're a part of a picture that yeah. they paint Norway as a democratic country, yeah. because uh, <laughs> like within the Barnevern system, it's not really democratic. Yeah, all no, is beforehand is, uh, uh, decided. Tyrannic, more. Yeah. Oh, of course, of yeah. course. So we come in. And we have to paint the picture so it looks like we have a fair chance, but yeah. we really we don't. don't. We no. don't. We don't. We know that when we go in there, it's no yeah. chance. Yeah. No matter what, I mean, how many victims. But you have victims. to try for him. Yeah, of yeah. course. For, of course we're going to try. You, you I will are making rest. the history exactly. now because yeah. one day because he is understanding this. Who could yeah. be saved he knows who he belongs to. Yeah. Mm. That you fight, that he, he will one day look at the internet oh, yeah. and see how you fight, doing. how many people fight for him, yeah. uh, and yeah. that will be important for his... I think uh, so too, that he knows, to you know him. what, we never give up on him. No, no. Yeah. And that's really my final goal, yeah. if nothing else works, is that yeah. when he's old enough, he's going to know that, you know what, my mom and dad, they fight for me, they love yeah. me, yeah. they never gave me yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, and that's my wish too. That's how to parents should do. Yeah. They shouldn't yeah. do like the childcare want. Stop it. Oh, why are you doing you this? Up, yeah. You know, just asking the question, why don't you stop? Yeah. That is rather cold. They're, they're almost asking yeah, you, yeah. you, can you stop, please? Yeah. Can you stop fighting for your child? Yeah. Yeah. They never. are actually Sorry, asking. You, you should they answer next time, would you? Yeah. Yeah, she said <laughs> something yeah, hey, about that. You know, that. the Bonnemans right over there. Yeah. Go give your kid to them and see how you like it. Yeah, yeah because she <laughs> said you would never imagine how yeah. it is yeah. to have this pain. No. I, I would never wish it upon my worst yeah. enemy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you should, uh, you should really be glad that you're not never going to be in a position where you lose your yeah, child. They're because, safe. Yeah. But they're, they're safe, safe yeah. because they work you know, there. They're safe because they're yeah. safe. Last question. Do you ever stop thinking about time? No. Day He's and night. Yeah, I time. always think about him. Yeah. Uh, it's sad, and you know, sometimes I could think of him and smile and miss yeah. him like crazy. Smile and cry at the yeah. same time, actually. Yeah. But for example, when I'm at work, I can go in. You and, imagine uh, his face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get it up in your memory, sort of. Yeah. yeah. You see him there. Yeah. I uh, when I, uh, I'm at work and I'm working and I'm I, I get the employees to laugh and you know, yeah. and uh, then I have to go to the restroom and yeah. uh, just go cry. The memory come up. Yeah, oh, yeah. and then, then yeah. I so go cry in the uh, uh, yeah. restroom and then I go out again mm. and just pretend everything is fine. Yeah. And yeah. Because you have to live in a, you have to imagine that as you have to, you have to work, you know, yeah. to do 
get it out because if you just sit home and not do anything you, you, the, the, you can go crazy I think you go crazy yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean that's how it was for us at least yeah, yeah. for my part yeah. <laughs> okay then you have heard uh, Kevin and Amy uh, and again I urge all of you out there stand up for Tyler and uh, tell uh, what you think about this we, we cannot have this kind of uh, system uh, taking care of children in Norway that's actually breaking the bonds to the biological families mm. so uh, for this I uh, thank you for now and keep up the good work out there thank you mm. thank, you. thank you and thank you for the support yeah. thank you very much